This type of VO3 AI ads are going viral. These ads were created using a new style of prompting called JSON prompting. And contrary to how it looks and feels like, it is pretty easy to do. You can do it in different styles and even in 3D and 2D cartoon styles. You can learn this and apply it to your brand, business, or even sell this as a service to businesses. I'm going to break this down in a super simple way so that you understand how to do this yourself. And don't worry about the prompts as usual. I'm going to give it all to you. My name is Charles. Let's get started. Now, before we get started, JSON prompting is not a magical thing that makes your video look great automatically. You can use JSON prompting and still get terrible videos. In my opinion, JSON prompting is just the structured way of instructing AI to do something. If your prompt is structured properly, you won't need this JSON prompting. But then again, if you ask me, should I use JSON prompting to create these type of videos? Absolutely. Go ahead and use it. Now, what people do when they want to create ads is they just enter a prompt like this. They say, ah, create an ad for my brand. Create an ad for my makeup brand. And then send. No, 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 no. That is the wrong way of doing it, right? You may likely get results that don't match your expectations. So with JSON prompting, instead of just telling the AI one vague thing to do, you're giving it scene by scene instructions. I mean, you're giving it visual props, camera movements, lighting, styling, branding, product placement. You're giving the AI clear instructions on what needs to be done. <laughs> I know it sounds like a lot, but don't worry. These detailed instructions or JSON prompts will be generated by AI and I'll show you exactly how to do it shortly so what you're going to do is to search for gemini view 3 on google and then you're going to see results on this first result here that has models view on the link you're going to click on it and then to take you to this page right here instead of clicking try in flow click try in gemini and then it's going to take you to this page here now if you look here you see that you're paying zero for the first one month and it has google flow which is what you need to create videos to create your three videos so you can use this sign up just click on get started put in your uh, details and sign up and guys remember you can cancel anytime you want right now once you have gotten access to your three the next thing you're going to be doing is to hit the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to this channel subscribe there are a lot of helpful videos in this channel really helpful videos so like comment subscribe now back to this now once you're logged into flow you're going to make sure that this is in view 3 so you're going to click on settings and click here and make sure that it's in view 3 fast okay and then the output ensure your output is in one so you don't waste all your credits and we are going to be using text to video for this tutorial the first type of ad video we're going to be creating is the cinematic style live videos and we are going to start with a good ad video for nike brand right so what you're going to do is to go to chat gpt now once you're in chat gpt there are two things you're going to do click on new project and then you write a project name so you can call your project json prompt and you click create project now all the work you'll be doing would be inside this project now why are we doing this we want to feed this project some json templates so that whenever you ask it to create an ad it's just going to use those templates and use the instruction that will be given to it to create the ad and it's a very simple way to do it so what we're going to do is to click on add instructions and then add the instruction i'll be giving you right and then also here you click on add files and add sample json prompt like json templates all right and i'm going to be sharing all these the instructions the templates with you in my telegram channel so if you have not joined my telegram channel join it the link will be in the description of this video join the channel and then you have access to all these things, the instructions and then uh, the files that we'll be adding here. Now, this is a sub two training so that we can just come here instead of writing long prompts, we can just say, oh, 
create an ad for Nike brand and it automatically creates the Nike brand ad, right? The JSON prompt for the Nike brand ad. We're just going to copy it and use it. That's all. You can see the instructions that I added for my own project. These are the instructions. Uh, you are an assistant that helps creators turn this, uh, blah, blah, blah. And your job, your handling, outputs, like this detailed instruction, right? And then for the files, I added two prompt templates for ChatGPT to use in order to create very good JSON prompt. So if you join my Telegram channel, you're going to see these templates. Now, once we have this, we have these files, we have these instructions. The next thing we are going to be doing is just to enter a prompt. You can just say, oh, create an ad for this. Now, instead of going ahead to do that, let's do this next step. Okay. Now we are going to open a new chat, not inside the JSON prompt project. This is very important because if you do what I'm going to tell you inside the JSON project, it's just going to give you JSON prompt because we have trained, we have now trained the AI to just give us JSON prompt. But what we want to do is not the JSON prompt. We want to get the prompt that we would use to get the JSON prompt. I know this is a two-step process and why are we doing this? So we won't think, right? So we won't think too much. We'll just give it an idea and then to give us a prompt and then we'll use the prompt to get the JSON prompt. Now we are going to click on new chat. We'll open this in another tab. Don't open it in the same tab, right? So we are going to open this in another tab, open a new chat. So for this first part, I just told ChatGPT, oh, rewrite this ad prompt and optimize it. What does optimization mean? Make it better. ChatGPT is good at writing ChatGPT prompts. Hmm. You get. Now, this second part, you're just going to write the description, what you want to see in the ad, how you want the ad to feel like, like whatever, just give it a small idea and it's going to use that idea and, you know, make it better, turn it to a prompt. So I said, write a description for a Nike ad. The shoe forms from raw elements, threads weave themselves into fabric, air cushions up and all that. So he used this information to generate this prompt. So I sent it and it gave me this prompt here. You can say add prompt, optimize from darkness, raw elements begin to assemble, threads weave seamlessly into fabric, the sole molds itself. So all this is a very good prompt. So what I'm going to do is to copy this and then stop here where it says logo. I don't want this tagline, so I'm going to stop here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to the project chart, right? So here I'm going to say, use this to create JSON prompts for Nike ad. And then I put this here, semicolon. And then I paste the prompt that I got from ChatGPT. So use this to create JSON prompts for Nike ad. And then this, and I'll send it to ChatGPT. And boom, it has generated a JSON prompt for the Nike ad. And this is how a JSON prompt looks like to give you description, the style, the camera, camera movements, the lighting, the environment, the elements that will be in the video, list different elements out, the motion, the ending, the text, the keywords for the AI to understand what's going to be going on in the ad video. You can see how detailed the JSON prompt is, and this will give it a cinematic view style ad video interesting now we have this we are just going to copy it and then we're going to go to view 3 paste it here and send it and boom we have our nike ad ready now we're going to download it click on download and if you don't want to download it in 720p you can download the upscaled version which is 1080p it's better so you just click on this and download the upscaled version but it's going to take a little time for it to upscale it now let's watch it Wow, this is beautiful. Now, this can even be more interesting. We can create an ad for Lamborghini where all the components build up from ground and it zooms off. Let's try it. So the first thing is to generate the prompt that we're going to be using. We say the right ad prompt and optimize and then we give it the idea. Write a description for Lamborghini car ad where all the components come together from a box to form the car. And boom, ChatGPT gave us this. A slick black box sits in the center of a minimalistic stage. Suddenly it opens, releasing a cascade. So, you wouldn't even, <laughs> so left with me, I wouldn't even want to write all this. 
that's why this first part or this second part is very important so we're going to copy this all right going to copy this and then we use this to generate the json prompt and then we say use this to create a json prompt for a lamborghini car ad and down here is the prompt that we generated and let's send it boom we have the json prompt ready so we'll just copy this prompt and go to vo3 so we paste the prompt here and then we send it and boom we have our video ready let's play it Now, that's a beautiful ad video. So what we can also do is to create this type of unboxing ad video. I know that you've seen this type of video because it has been going viral and you might think, oh, to create this is very easy. You just tell it, oh, create a video where I... <laughs> it's not going to work like that, all right? Now, here's what is going to work. Now, we're just going to do the same thing, put the prompt, put the description, and then copy this um ad that is generated and, and then use this to generate the json prompt you just copy it we go back to view paste the prompt and generate boom we have the kitchen ad this is good this is really good i even went further to create one for a youtube studio and i'm going to show you the changes i made to the prompt so for this youtube studio setup ad you can see what I wrote here. Write a description for YouTube Studio Setup. It starts with an empty room with a big IKEA type box. You can see the idea I gave to ChatGPT to use to write the prompt. It starts with an empty room with a big IKEA type box sitting at the center. Suddenly, it pops open from inside and all YouTube Studio equipment and setup files from all directions begin bouncing out and all that. So this is what I gave and it gave a prompt for it. It optimized it and wrote it in a better way. An empty room at the center sits a massive IKEA style box. Suddenly it busts open, Studio guest shoots out in every direction. This is what I'll copy. So I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna take you to GPT and then use the same style for getting the prompting. Just use this and send it. And boom, I've gotten the JSON prompt. I just copy and then paste in view and send. And boom, we have our video ready. Let's watch this. Looks good. Now, this is not limited to just realistic videos. You can do this for 3D or 2D animated videos. Just ensure that you mention it in your prompt, just like I did here. So for this one, I mentioned it. Write a description for a bedroom set up in animated cartoon style. It starts with an empty room. Animated cartoon style is the keyword. And then it gave me this prompt here. And then for the second one, for the 2D cartoon style, I ensure that I mention it in the prompt. Write a description for a bedroom setup in animated 2D cartoon style. So you have to mention it and then ChatGPT would create the prompt that you would use for the JSON prompt. So you copy this. You can see the prompt has the 2D cartoon style in. You copy it. Once you copy it, you take it to get your JSON prompt. And then after getting it, I was able to generate it on VO to get the 3D video here. And then also the 2D video. This looks absolutely beautiful. Very good. The next one I'm about to show you is insane. Before, brands would spend thousands of dollars just to get a video like this. But with JSON prompting, it can be done in minutes. Look at this burger ad. Wow, brands will pay you $500, $1,000 to do this, even with AI, right? The same prompts that I've shared in this video, the same JSON prompt is what I used to create that video. Now, this is another beautiful video I created for a popcorn ad. Just imagine doing this for brands or businesses and you just start a business for yourself. The niche is still untapped and you can get in.
The next one is a chocolate ad. Let's watch this. Endless flavors. One passion. And then for our Santa brand, Coca-Cola. Here's what I did for them. Stunning. These videos are beautiful. I'll leave all the prompts I used in this video in my Telegram channel. I'll also leave the templates, instructions, all that will be my Telegram channel. The link to join my Telegram channel is in the description of this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, you're missing out. You are missing out. So subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. The next video, you're going to learn something new. Yeah, this video, you're going to learn something new that will blow your mind. So watch this video next. I'll see you there.